Okay, uh, Kenny Miller and Livingston F uh, Football Club have parted ways by mutual consent. Um, Kenny Miller was obviously player manager. Uh, he'd been in the job seven weeks. He played in every game so far this season for them. Uh, but the Livingston board wanted him to go into the full-time management role and Kenny Miller wanted to keep playing because he felt he still had something to give as a player on the pitch. Uh, so it was decided after their one defeat in, in the Scottish League Cup, uh, they had a meeting uh, this morning. And it has been decided between the, the, the club and, and Kenny Miller to, to part company. Uh, this is their second manager uh, for Livingston in, in two months. Uh, they've only just got promoted back to the Scottish Premiership. So in that sense, this is a, is a tricky time for any promoted club in any league uh, in, in football. Um, you need to get it right. He's not done a bad job considering that the limited uh, funds he has and, and the limited uh, infrastructure at Livingston. He's, he's done reasonably well. Um, there are rumours that, that Hearts and Aberdeen are interested in his services as a, as a depth squad player. Uh, the Scottish transfer window hasn't shut yet, so there is still a chance that he could be signed by another club. Um, he, he was very keen, though, to learn some managerial experience while still playing. But this just shows how hard it is to be a player manager. Um, you know, you know he's, he's, he's played in every game. Uh, player managers are a bit more of a thing of the past now. It, uh, 20, 30 years ago, yes, there were plenty of player managers, but it is exceptionally hard to, to do it for a whole season. Um, we've seen a few caretaker managers who've been player managers for, for short spells. Uh, Livingston obviously were, were quite happy uh, seven weeks ago to sign him up as player manager as part of, part of this season's plan. Obviously, their goal is to stay in the Scottish Premier League uh, and... and you know, get get the prize money for that. Uh, relegation is not an option for Livingston. Really, they need to stay up for financial reasons because they have had some financial problems in the past, and it's been a 12-year journey to get back to this stage. Uh, they have back-to-back -back promotions, which has helped. Um, whether Kenny Miller f retires at the end of this season and then decides to go back into and then goes into full-time management, or, or where he ends up playing is another thing. And it's 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 not even any question who will end up going to Livingston to be to be manager. Uh, they're not one of those clubs that is going to attract a star name manager even in Scottish football. Uh, they're one of the minor clubs, so it's going to be interesting. Um, I think when Kenny Miller signs manager, the board obviously happy. I don't know what's happened in the last seven weeks for them to change their mind because he hasn't done bad with the as I say with the resources he's got. So it's a very sudden U turn. It's not the shortest managerial reign we've ever seen. We, we've seen Brian Clough last 44 days at Leeds United and then look what you've been Nottingham Forest um, later on. Um, so, but there's a lot of a lot of young managers, you know, uh, giving it a go. We've got Gerrard, Lampard, Kenny Miller's giving it a go. Um, so there's a lot of young managers starting to get their first managerial appointments uh, this year. Unfortunately, his was just didn't work out. But we're going to leave that there. So if you're a Livingston fan, I want to hear from you. What, what, are, your, what are your thoughts? Uh, I know it, this was a, a very abrupt change of tack from Livingston. They, they, the Livingston won football focus this weekend before their cup tie, and they and came and gave an interview. And he was he was very very you know positive about you know how it's gone so far in the previous seven weeks. So it's a very interesting U-turn by the club. Um, but it just shows how hard it is to be a player manager in the modern game. It's it's a, it's a dying art form being a player manager. Very very few and far between. Um, most player managers don't actually have a lot of success uh, when they're doing both roles. It's exceptionally hard to be a full-time player and a full-time manager. And so there we go. But if you're a Livingston fan, I would like to hear from you. And everyone else, any other Scottish football fans, uh, I'd like to hear from you. And it's, it's an interesting little story. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Place your video thoughts below. And I'll have some more videos for you soon.